Now listen to this noise because a lot of people will accept a reel uh, from the store or from the previous owner. In this case, this is a 1940s reel pin squitter and uh, without question and never, never even touch the bearing setup. Now a lot of times when you hear a long distance caster, surf caster casting out, you'll hear that noise. All right, let's adjust our bearing, and, and here you've got an exposed bearing, and this is the adjustment. It's knurled, and we're just, we're only going to, just a quarter turn. And I'm going, I'm looking for a little, just a, a little bit of play in that spool. Got it. Hear that? Click, 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 click. All right, watch this. Just by that. All right, now we've got some other tricks I'm going to show you. In the 1970s, a group of us used to scramble out over the rocks of the Ponce Inlet Jetty. There was no walkway at that time. And out to the tip of it and fling three ounce and larger spoons out into the ocean. The further you could get, the bigger the fish, up to billfish. Nobody ever got one in that I'm aware of, but uh, you could tangle with them. Uh, the object at that time was to get your name in the paper, which I managed to do a couple of times for, for big catches. And I came up with a way to get 20% extra distance off the store-bought setups and I've never shown this to anybody but I will to you today I'm rigging up for uh, another adventure and um, I don't see why it won't work for you as well. What does 20% casting distance mean to you? Well 20% is huge. I'll be back in here just barely out of range but with 540 I've got it all right this is Orange Beach and you can see this little reef line right here breaking wave but the actual good place to fish is gonna be this cut right here we have access to deeper water uh, you have two reef lines to work and you can control that from this spot right here here 446 feet this is what an extra 20 percent or 90 feet does for you 540 feet right there so all that extra distance I can control that I wouldn't be able to do at 450. That's my swinging arm at that. 500. So that means a lot to you as a fisherman. Especially if you're going to flounder fish, flounder fish in your cast in 45 degree degrees to the beach or less and you're keeping your your uh, lure in the sweet spot in here far longer than you would to cast straight out where you're only in the sweet spot for just that little tiny bit see that so it makes a huge difference if you're going after something like flounder because you're keeping in the sweet zone far longer the farther you can cast All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out our bearings and see if they're loaded or unloaded. The store setup is a loaded bearing, and by and you are going to adjust your bearings on right here on this knob on the side. Underneath that is your bearing for the reel on a Shimano. Now this is a store setup, pretty good, huh? Look at that thing. Now. 
this is going to be our setup and the difference is only usually a quarter of a turn it's about a quarter and we're going to feel in here until we get just the minimal amount of play back and forth now I'm not turning that very much it's just very very slight hear that click got a little bit look at that from here on out what you get depends on what you find in your reel and what you can realistically do the bait caster Shimano we found had sealed bearings not much I can do there the pen has caged bearings but the bearing cover on the exposed bearing the one you saw me adjusting was stuck the bearings are good, I could see that, they spin freely, so I flush them with electrical contact cleaner uh, so there's no residue, and liberally applied flowable blue grease. Now the bait caster we find has all the magnetic brakes applied, they're on, so I click them all off except for two directly opposite each other and I did use flowable grease on the ends of the spool shaft. Flowable blue grease. This is a compound you're going to make from the best of the aircraft penetrance aerocoil, which comes in a spray, a uh, 32 ounce bottle or a gallon can, and blue grease, which the mill spec on that is anti corrosion water resistant. And that will go into any bearing, flow right in, and make it go like greased lightning. Just to prove a point, even a 2-inch bobber from a 6-foot rod can be tossed quite a distance if you'll just follow your target to splash down. Connie and I hope this helps you to get out where the big ones roam, and we hope to see you out fishing one day.